So we are looking at Chandra's portrait on location now. So Chandra, I want you to be a bit more descriptive in your captioning. These are more titles for the pieces rather than captions. So fishing for catfish, awesome, that's a great start, but tell us where you're at. Tell us this, the park, the city, the state, um, if you can find out this guy's name, you know, have a conversation, maybe not, you know, it just depends, but you might want to think about something like that. I think it's a great shot. Um, I'm liking, let's see, all of these are square, so that's nice, that's nice and cohesive. I love what's happening on this one, um, within the circle, looking down, this has a great perspective, it has a great feel, the black and white, but I don't know where it is, I'm guessing it's down on Fremont Street, but visitors wouldn't know that. So you want to be a little more descriptive on what you're doing, because this is a fantastic photograph. So... Once again, Fremont Street, love what's happening, love the activity, and you could say, you know, in your caption, Fremont Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, on a whatever night of the week it was, some of the vendors, you know, playing for some, you know, nickels, or really $5 bills. So add some, a little bit more descriptor to this. Nice shot. I might think about having a little bit less of the foreground and maybe more of the building. That's just, you know, an aesthetic thing. We could see if that, if that, how that works. I like how you're using these circles to help frame the scene. So that's working really nicely here with this person. Love that hat. Just a little help. Donations, new guitar. Maybe, uh, you know, you could quote, you know, talk about what he was playing at that point of the evening. How many people were hanging out with him. So back to this one. So all black and white, so that's really nice and consistent. This and this one are a little contrastier than this one. I think this these fit in there. This could use a little bit more contrast, and so could this. So that's popping a little bit more of the white out in it to have more of a variation between your black and your white. However, you want to be careful not to lose the detail in your dark areas, okay? So I think this is my all-time favorite of this group. I love the dynamic energy in it. It could be so many places. I like the feel of what's happening in this one. I'm just... I'd like to see maybe more of the top of that building, like I said, and then the fishing guy. So I think this was a, a strong start. This one is definitely the keeper. We are looking at Sierra's blue hour, golden hour, and what a great set of images you got here. I love the energy of the people in those two images. You caught a beautiful scene in the first image, but I have to say, I love what you're doing with this image. My one thing that I would work on is including a little bit more of your hand. That nail, your nail is so dynamic here, the little paint on it. I think that really adds to the image and it adds to your style. So let's just open that real quick and see how it looks. Oh, look at that, real nice. We're losing the sky to the white of the border here. So I'm not sure what you're using for editing software, but I would try to work on keeping a definition of the uh, little Fuji image from the sky. Okay, so we want to see that all the way around. I like how you're lining this up with the horizon, and then this is showing the, the dynamic color that was going on at that point. So what a, what a nice image. Just the little tweak of the thumbnail the next time you do something like this. Nice photograph across the board you know it is definitely a beautiful evening the the telephone poles in the background I like how that's defining that space we have the black to the little bit lessened uh, black where there's more light illuminating those mountains back there and showing some definition I think that's working really nicely there let's just open that up ah pretty good you're getting a little bit of banding in here, so you might want to tone that down a little bit. You could add a little blur to this to make that go away. I wanted to look at these side by side. I wanted to look at these side by side to make a comparison. I really like the outstretched, outstretched arms here. I think that is adding a lot of energy. I love how the arm is kind of, you know, in line with the mountain behind. This one is nice also, looking off into the distance. So this is a toss-up as to which one you keep and which one gets filed. You need to pick one. And you guys, when you're looking at these, send Sierra a note and tell her which one you think. I'm, I'm, I'm on a toss-up on this one. 
I think I'm leaning towards this one, the right hand side. So that's my thinking on it. But this is the big winner of this group, Sierra. Great job with that. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing that idea. It's, it's a lot of fun. So we've got Valerie's A New York Minute here, and this is an Adobe Spark page. I hope you guys looked at John's. We're going to look at his next, but and uh, now Valerie. This is a great way to display your stuff. I'm hoping to revisit this, so I'm going to do it quickly because I'm going to encourage you, Valerie, to add more captions to this to help round it out. This has a very old-time feel, this first shot. I like that clean text that you have there. It looks like, were they filming a movie or something? Or there's a photo shoot going on because we see the guy with the apple crate and the his camera in hand. So we just scroll through this and we come up to these images. And what a great presentation. What a great way to share this. After you create one of these shows, you just share the URL or you can embed it into your website. And it's striking. It's clean. It looks good. You can pace things. A New York Minute is an instant, or as Johnny Carson once said, it is the interval between a Manhattan traffic light turning green and the guy behind you honking his horn. I love that. That is just so fantastic. I, I've been thinking about it since I read it the other day. But what a great image showing the energy of the city. So New York is energy filled. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to go, I hope this uh, sparks your imagination. Great color going here. And we're going back and forth. So you kind of like divided things up. So we started with black and white as you're going out to see the Statue of Liberty. And then when we're in the city, we've got this color. And it's punched up color. It's vibrant. The images are looking really good. If you click on an image, in theory, there you go. The images will go big. So don't be afraid to click on the images and see what happens. What a, what a fabulous shot in New York. Fire Department, that's iconic in our history now. Little thing, I'd like to see the D on the lid there, but that's just picky. I mean, it's so chaotic. That doesn't matter that much. Love the energy of this guy. So we've got, you know, our, our police and our firefighters there. Then we get into these scooter things. And I know you had a couple of those that you showed in an earlier project. Katz's Deli, the tip image is still one of my favorite images. I'd like to see the bottom of the cart here. Let's see if when we open it up. Nope, they're not there. I wasn't sure if this, if we were getting some cropping in here, but what a great moment. So, but think about those wheels. Yeah, pretty, pretty fantastic. I almost once again want to see the, uh, the full sign there. So either this full sign, this full sign, but you, it's nice that you've got the uh, fire escape coming down. It's so chaotic. Sometimes it's hard to control the frame just because there is lots of information there. The old and the new, always a classic within the city. Food, fun, sharing, some family to, to round it out. So I think he did a nice job. And once again, more captions. Go back and add more story to this. Nice work. So next up we have John's Story of Ventura. Once again, an Adobe Spark page. John told me that it took him 15 minutes to create this, the Spark page. He had already done his captions, he'd already done his editing, but just putting it all together, configuring it into this. So give it a try. Nice start. He com comes in, tells us a story about growing up. So hopefully you go back and read this. I'm not gonna read it to you. First stop, steak and hoagie. I tell you, John is a master with photographing food. I want to eat every time I look at his photographs. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This one feels a little tilted to the side. I might do a little straightening of that, John, um, just to kind of pull it in a little bit. The harbor. So you can pace things. You can put things into groups to help tell your story. And with each group of images, he's adding his caption here telling us a little bit what's there, electric, electric, eclectic shops, galleries, restaurants, and walking the waterside promenade, watching for boats. More delectable food. Another caption. We're down at the beach. We're under the pier. On top of the pier, next to the pier. 
and he's telling a story back to the hotel for a little nap and then to the famous Ventura Pier for some people watching and an amazing sunset. And then we're starting to see the sunset. And there it is. So he's leading us up to the final image. So he did a great job putting this together. Give it a try.